My name is Slane Sanders. Um, I'm 29 years old. I live in Cleveland, Mississippi. Growing up in the Mississippi Delta is wonderful. Um, if you love the outdoors and you love firearms, it's the best place to grow up. You know, you're surrounded by land and you're surrounded by woods, and so you just get to love and live where you have this immense access to everything you love to do. I um, definitely grew up in the outdoors. My dad is a hunter. Um, I have hunting memories as long as I can think back riding on that four-wheeler and cold winter morning going out to the deer stand, um, fishing in the pond by our cabin, uh, hauling out catfish, and just learning firearm safety and getting to enjoy weapons um, throughout my whole childhood. Um, the Mississippi Delta has all kinds of influences. It has people that love to hunt. We have big duck hunting, big deer hunting. People come in from all over to duck hunt. Um, have the big influence of music, the blues. We have a Grammy Museum. We it, it's just a lovely little town. You know, it's um, right in the heart of the Mississippi Delta, and everybody loves each other. Everybody knows each other, and it's a wonderful place to grow up and to raise a family. Um, I was blessed to grow up with a dad that enjoys the same hobby as I do. Um, he loves firearms, he enjoys shotguns, rifles, pistols, and he saw a need for um, ammunition. So he started in our garage, um, Precision Delta, who manufacture ammunition and bullets. Um, and he just fed that hobby and that love for that into me. Um, it's been something I've just known my whole life and just turned into now a second, um, second income, second job. Growing up with uh, as y'all know, I'm Joe Tranum, that's my dad. Um, wonderful, loving dad, provided me with everything I could ever imagine. Um, but the biggest thing to, for me was he instilled that love for the outdoors. He was my gateway to it. He taught me how to hunt. He taught me how to drive a foiler. He taught me how to fish, how to put a, get a hook out of a catfish's mouth. You know, he taught me how to shoot a snake so I wouldn't be scared of him. You know, he was a wonderful man that taught me so much about what I've loved today. Growing up in the ammunition business, um, I mean, honestly, I knew no different. So I didn't know what it was like to grow up in a family where my dad was a banker. I mean, my dad just made bullets, you know. So I grew up going to PPC matches and going to expos and things where my dad was selling ammunition. And that's just what my life was. I didn't know, I knew no different. So in our business, uh, we have Big Daddy Joe, who runs the, the president. Then we also have little brother Joseph, who's now stepped into big shoes. Um, he runs a lot of our sales for the company. Um, very mature little brother, I'm proud of him. He's done well. Um, he's leading the company into good things. Um, I met my husband on the range. We met uh, practicing one day, and it grew from there. Um, my brother since graduated college and started um, helping run the company. And about a year ago, my dad called and said, I need a manufacturing engineer. And my husband is a manufacturing engineer. And we both love ammunition. We both love bullets. Um, we live, we breathe it. So it was just a match made in heaven. Um, we couldn't have planned it any better. So right now we have the three big men um, at Precision Delta. We have my dad, who's still big man, big honcho, makes all the big calls. But then you have Joseph, who has stepped into managing pretty much all of the sales. And then my husband now runs um, the manufacturing, in charge of all of that. So it really is amazing um, being in the industry and in both sides of it, partaking in the fun and the enjoyment of the industry, but then also being the backing of with the business in the industry um, and getting to see the, the sweat and the hard working days and the hard thoughts and the worries and everything going into making a product that then you get to go to the range on the weekends and see people enjoy. You know, it really pushes you to make it even better and to give them something that they love even more. Um, well, like I said, I grew up with firearms, um, shot on my whole life, although in about seventh grade I started shooting um, shotguns with my local 4-H club. Really enjoyed that. I loved being able to shoot with my peers and getting to enjoy the sport um, as a kid with other kids and the whole sport was focused just on children, so it was really fun. Although, when I was about 15, my dad's best friend, Johnny Brister, um, he started trying to talk me into shooting pistols. I never really shot pistols too much, you know, just playing around, but um, he really just introduced me to it, and I loved it, and just grew from there. I shoot for United States Practical Shooting Association, also known as USPSA. We're affiliated with IPSC, International Practical Shooting Confederation. Um, IPSC is more of the international governing body and USPSA is our um, United States governing body. 
Um, I currently shoot for Precision Delta and I shoot for Double Alpha Academy. Um, Precision Delta, you know, of course makes ammunition and bullets and then Double Alpha Academy makes all kinds of gear. Um, can pretty much hook you up with any type of shooting supply or gear that you need for shooting. So if you don't know already, my husband is a beast. He is 6'6 six, six and a very competitive shooter. Um, we met on the range and it was love at first sight, of course, but <laughs> we both shoot and it's such a blessing to be able to enjoy and partake in this together. Um, you know, we, during the week, we practice together, we load ammo together, our date nights are separating brass and loading ammunition, but, you know, we get to spend all this time together and so many couples don't have that and we're just so thankful for that. But he is a wonderful shooter. Um, yes, he is better than me and yes, he's faster than me for all those people that always ask that. Um, but if he slips up, I will get him. So I was in a Sunday school class in my hometown in um, Jackson, Mississippi, where I was living at the time, going to school. And there was a guy in the class named Jess, and he um, asked me to come shoot with him one day. He heard I was a shooter, and he was a shooter, so he invited me to come shoot with him and his buddy. The buddy that he brought was Steven, and Four years later, he was my husband. I will say that having your husband doing it with you helps keep your keep your fire in it because you can't just say, I don't want to go this weekend because then you're leaving your husband to drive eight hours by himself one way to a match. So you do it anyway and you get there and you realize, I really did want to be here. It would stink to be back at home right now. So it really does help just, we, we challenge each other, we push each other. Um, I push him to be better, he pushes me to be better, and we're there to coach each other, you know. It's a second set of eyes. There's no way to get better as a shooter unless you're trying to push yourself and you're looking for ways like, how can I make myself better? Um, and so and we're both to the point in our careers where we want to be better, you know. We want to be at the top of our game and shoot to our optimal potential. So I, he definitely coaches me more as in, he's a better shooter than me, he's a grandmaster. Um, so I, I take a lot of what he says to me, you know, and I ask for opinions and I ask for him to help me. But he also asks for my opinion because he can't see what he's doing while he's shooting, you know. So he looks to me to, to tell him those things of where can I get faster? Where am I losing time? Where can I be more efficient? So we both look to each other for help and for coaching. Um, my biggest achievement so far in USPSA or just in competitive shooting is making the women's world shoot team. Uh, it's been a dream of mine for a long time. I made the transition from production division to open division um, about four years ago in sight of that dream. Um, so for the last three years I've been every day, every weekend, putting in the sweat and the hard work um, to make that dream come true. So over the last two years I've been accumulating points at United States um, Practical Shooting Nationals and IPSC Nationals to get those points for that um, spot. So in order to make that team, it was just a dream come true and that's definitely my biggest accomplishment thus far. So in a few months, I'll be going uh, to France and I'll be competing for USPSA on the USA uh, Women's Open Team with three other girls. So we'll be representing the country and hopefully bringing back the gold. Um, so USPSA will take a couple different teams. Um, the only women's team right now that's being as a sponsored USPSA team is the women's open team. Um, it consists of me, Lisa Munson, Casey Cochran, and Jesse Duff. Um, so we'll be going for the open division. Um, I'm just so blessed to be able to be on a team with these girls, um, to go into World Shoot with them, and being able to live close to and train with and enjoy friendships with them, especially Jesse is one of my good friends. And so we get to train together, we compete together a lot, we get to travel together a lot. And so it's just it's so sweet to be able to engage in that type of relationship with your teammates. So then you're going over there um, to compete for your country, not only as an individual, but as a team as well. So in our sport in USPSA, we don't have, um, we're not, not in the Olympics. So okay. we have what's called the World Shoots. So every three years, um, we have the IPSC World Shoots held somewhere in the world. Um, this year it's in France. So the United States um, Women's Open Team is the reigning champ from last year. The women, they won gold last year. So we're hoping to bring it home next year as well. So for me, like I said, my biggest accomplishment thus far is being on the women's uh, world shoot team, open team. Um, so just to carry that even farther, we'll be able to bring home the gold for our country, um, for our team, for our sport, and just bring it back to my hometown. 
Uh, I shoot open division for USPSA. So it basically it's a race gun. It's, it's kind of like big kid Legos is how I describe it. So you pick all your parts that you want. You pick the grip that you want, the frame that you want, the barrel you want, the comp, everything. And you make your optimal gun that fits your hand the best and functions exactly how you want it. Um, we dial in our ammunition to make it exactly how you want it to shoot. So I, um, I shoot a Phoenix Trinity um, frame and grip. Um, so that's pretty much what I shoot. I think I shoot 38 super comp. So uh, in open division, you pretty much have the choice between nine millimeter or 38 super comp. You can shoot minor, um, but your points are scored at a harder um, factor. So some people shoot nine minor, but you have to take that cut with the hits. Um, so people mostly shoot nine major or they shoot 38 super comp. I shoot a Leopold um, Delta Point Pro. Um, I love it. It's infinitely adjustable. Um, it never fails me. Um, in, a, in a sport where you have a set amount of time to go and shoot the best you can and get as fast as you can with the most points as you can, you have to make sure that your, your gear is reliable. So I can't have any part of me that's worried that my gear is going to go out on me. If my scope goes out in the middle of a stage, I'm done. So I put all my faith in Leopold and it hadn't let me down so far. I will not make any adjustments before World Shoot. Um, I've been over the last year trying to make sure I have a good backup gun. Um, I've most recently gotten a new gun built by Pat Rafferty at Rafferty Custom Guns. Um, so I can have two guns that are identical. Um, they are both made out of the same components um, for the most part. The grips are exactly the same. Um, the sights are exactly the same. They weigh the same. They shoot the same. Um, so that in, in case something does happen to one, I will have a backup that shoots exactly like. So over the last year or so, I've been trying to dial it in and make sure everything is just exactly how I want it. So we'll keep it there. Um, I shoot, of course, my one of my other sponsors is Double Alpha Academy. So I shoot a Double Alpha rig. Um, love my holster, love my mag pouches. They never fail me. I can fall on them, I can hit them on things, and they just don't ever move. So that's an essential part. It's just having gear that you don't have to worry about. You know, in our sport, we have everything is so precisely dialed in. Um, no matter if you're shooting production division or open division, it all comes down to your gear has to run. You know, it's not like track where you're relying on your legs to run. You know. And we're relying, yes, on our bodies to function, but more importantly, our gear to run. Um, if you don't have your gear, then you don't, you can't shoot. So, you know, I'm so thankful I have my husband that is an engineer. So he's very meticulous. Um, our guns, he cleans so well. And you just have to keep your gear and everything dialed in. Um, because yeah, it will happen at the worst possible moment. <laughs> moment. <laughs> so if you um, are on Facebook or YouTube, just um, follow me, subscribe to my channel at Sloan Sanders, and we'll be uh, keeping you up to date on what's going on in the shooting community and the industry up till World, World Shoot, and then help you follow us through um, our experience in France and help uh, hopefully bring home the gold to USA. Um, women, children, husbands, everything. Um, if you have any ounce of you that wants to be in competitive shooting or just likes to shoot, like, come on out. It's such a wonderful family sport. Um, everybody can have fun and enjoy um, guns and enjoy firearms in a safe manner um, while they're just having fun. So if you have any interest in it, come on out, check us out, and get involved.